All right. Hello. I'm going to go ahead and in this video show you how to automate something in Infusionsoft when you scan a QR code. And so an example of this might be, let's say you're selling, you know, a live event and you want to, you know, give them, you know, a unique ticket. And then, you know, you scan it at the door and you want some kind of automation to run that, you know, says, hey, thanks for coming, whatever the case is. And so basically, you're you're wanting some kind of model like this, right? You're sending them some kind of an email with the QR code, and then upon scanning it, you want some kind of automation to happen. So we'll use the example of, of, of an event. There's many reasons you may need this functionality, and uh, it's really just like a little magic trick under the hood. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So uh, the first thing that you got to do is understand what we're doing under the hood with Infusionsoft, and then how we can actually generate a QR code dynamically. So you'll notice here that this sequence is pointing into a tag-based goal that's just whenever this tag is applied it's going to go ahead and, and do that. And So what we're doing is we're actually creating an automation link connected to this tag and then when we scan the code we're clicking the link. So it'll all make sense in just a moment here. So uh, in your marketing settings and your automation links on the left you have your automation links over here. And I've got a link created uh, here. Uh, you can see it's just that you've been checked in. Again, we're using the example of a uh, event. And all the action is doing is applying this tag here. That's all we're doing. So this is an automation link that you click on it, you see this, and then it applies the tag, right? So how do we get a QR code to click on this link? So it's really neat because when you go to a QR code, you're it's basically you know redirecting you to some web page, you know, through the, the logic of what a QR code does. So we can actually reverse engineer a QR code generator to do this. And uh, again, keep following with me, this will all make sense in a moment. So to do this, step one is you create an automation link that applies some kind of a functional tag that says, hey, this thing's been scanned. That's the first thing that you do. So again, you go marketing settings, automation links, you go ahead and you create a link here, you would go ahead and give it a name, set up a thank you page, and then once you hit save, then you can configure an action to apply a tag. Uh, that's all you would need to do inside Infusionsoft. And you're going to want to make sure that you keep this window open, because we're actually going to be using this, this link ID. This is really important. That's why I have to save it first uh, one so that we can get the ID and also so we can get the, the actions here. Okay, so generating the actual QR code, that's the magic trick, right? How do we do this? So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find a site that can generate a QR code on the fly. Um, and there's a reason it needs to be able to be done on the fly because we're going to use kind of their same tech under the hood. So I just usually go to qrcodegenerator.com, you know, dashes between all of it, and let's just say something like, um, you know, whatever, paulsokel.me. Uh, and that's what I want to do. And you really want it to just to be a URL QR code, and in this case, static. So I create the code, and there you go. So you can see that right here, that's the QR code. If you were to scan that, you'd go to my website. Uh, you could sign up for my under the hair emails, that kind of jazz. But this is the code. So what we're going to do is we're going to reverse engineer how that image got generated. And then once we know that, we're going to go and plug in an Infusionsoft URL. So that's this is super cool. Again, kind of advanced, but we can do it. So we're going to inspect this image. And you want to go ahead and look, and you can see that basically here's the, the HTML, the image tag. And here, I'll just copy this and bring it into a... Uh, I'll bring it into a, a notepad here. And this is what the link will look like eventually, but ignore that. So this is the code. You'll notice even if you don't know HTML, you'll see that there's this source here that equals this. And you can see in the middle of all this code, here's my URL. So what this is basically doing is they have this little PHP file that you feed in some data. Part of that is the link, and it generate, it spits out a code, right? And so what we're going to basically do is we're going to use this piece the actual code that's generating to, uh, to to use this with Infusionsoft. Now you should be able to do this with most QR code generators to do it on the fly because usually 
they're being run by some kind of a PHP file um, that, that generates it. So what you're going to want to do is get rid of everything except the actual full URL here. And so now you may be able to start to connect the dots to see what we're doing here. So we could obviously set this as the source of some image in an email. So if we wanted to make it unique, really all we got to do is make this unique to the person, right? And so what we would do is replace this with the merge field for this automation link. So what we're basically saying is, is generate a QR code for this automation link, which of course is unique per person. So the merge field, if you don't know, for an automation link, I'll type it up here, it's tilde, so link, and then dash, or whatever the link ID is. So you can see up here, this is link, you know, 14, 291. And so that's the merge field for this particular link. And so you can go ahead and grab that. And what you would do is you would replace that here. See, so now this is a merge field. So it's going to spit out whatever the actual link is. It'll spit out a QR code for whatever that actual link is, which we know that it's an automation link. And when somebody goes through it, it applies the tag. And this is kind of how we looped it in. Um, now, uh, one thing you may be noticing is that thing, this has kind of URL encoded a little bit. So you actually want to make sure that everything after the question mark is, uh, it's not using this and amp, it, it's just using the, the straight ampersand. And that way it's a properly formatted kind of deal here. And then that is here we go. And we basically got this link that we need. It was up here before. That's how we kind of got to there. Um, now, again, this is just for the QR code generator thing. Um, obviously, this will probably look a little different for other services. But the main thing is you got to just find out basically what variable is the actual URL and then replace that with, um, with what we got going on here. Uh, okay. Oh, and there is actually a line break. So no need to be a line break. There you go. Now it matches. And I, it does not because I did not actually type proper guy in here. Okay, I don't know why it's line breaking, but no worries. So, this will spit out an image of the automation link. So now, inside Infusionsoft, all we got to do is go into our email. And we can use an image snippet. And we're going to use a custom image URL, which is this URL. And you'll see it'll spit out an image, which is the QR code specifically for, you know, this link underscore, you know, this guy right here. When the email actually sends out, it will be a distinct and unique QR code for each person that was sent because that link is, is dynamic per person when the email sends out. And then when they scan this, you're effectively clicking on the link, which would then apply the tag, and then you can do whatever automation you need off of that. So just to quickly review, just as a recap, if you want to go ahead and do this, first thing you got to do is generate an automation link. Well, first, actually, you got to generate uh, a functional tag to track the QR scan. And then you're going to go ahead and generate an automation link that applies this tag, keep the window open. And then you're going to go basically and, you know, reverse engineer uh, a QR code generator um, you know, image function, you know, whatever that is. And again, that, that all we did was we just looked at and see how did we get this URL. That's what I mean when I say reverse engineering. And then what you do is you uh, add an image block to an email and basically uh, use the image URL with, you know, link, whatever the ID is, uh, in place of the actual, you know, QR code generator, uh, you know, the, the URL variable. And then I'm just going to say variable because it is this, uh, 
this CHL equals the length. That's just a variable. So just replace it, and uh, and then and then of course, obviously, you know, you would scan the QR code um, at the appropriate time in the customer journey. So again, if we're using the example of an event, we just scan it at the door, and then great, thanks for showing up. You've checked in, and that is how you generate an email with the QR code that can be scanned, and then you can have post-scan automation. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave some comments, and uh, you know, follow, subscribe, all of that jazz. We'll talk to you later.